me. <laughs> you would you hold me, yeah. Can you hear the music? Got to keep it quite quiet because it's bloody early. Here. But uh, I, I woke up because I, I needed to uh, uh, use the little boys' room, or should I say the the unisex room now? <laughs> So, ah, fan of more Bob, can you can you hear? Can you hear the good music? PJ Proby used to uh, used to rip his trousers on stage. He's a, he's a drunk in uh, Scotland now, still alive. Oh man, oh, great, great. We'll wait a little bit. Might get away with it. I've always. You'll hear me get severely scolded by an angry woman who just probably is my wife. Well, we've had it we've had a twenty-four hours of it, haven't we, eh? You know what happened? Music man saw Richie Richie had all of us freaks on at the show the other day. <laughs> and she's got all upset about it. Started putting it out there. Oh, Richard Dolan's a traitor. Well, guess what? I get up this morning. Or oh, a cat woke me up. And then I thought, oh, this is David Winchester saying something about Richie Dolan. So I put it on. Richie Dolan's on there. Giving away all the secrets. <laughs> he is not He is not part of our team. He's double agent. Double agent. Away from you. Yes, good song. Good song. But today we wish to talk about the, the album that Melinda showed last night, which is called Great White, which I thought was interesting because uh, well, it looked like she was holding up a cover with her on it naked, so it was even better. Good to screenshot. Anyway, let's get some more of these good stuff things on. Uh, oh, here we are. Paper dolls. Just for a minute, Mike, because we're going to move to the 70s shortly. You know, so. Something here. And what else was there? The conversation was, uh, was about records being... Uh, too expensive. Well, they, they they should be expensive because there's no need for them anymore. They they're a terrible waste of resources, uh, mineral resources. Uh, so they should be expensive. There's no need for them anymore. Do you understand me, everybody? There is no need for vinyl anymore. All my vinyls on here. And I'm saving the planet. Do you, do you cunts think about that? Oh no, I've got to get this crappy old bit of plastic. Take up room where you could be putting an Afghani family, you selfish bastards. See, you're all sitting at home and you say, oh yes, let those people in. We can help. Hang on a minute, who's paying for them? Who's paying for them? If you're paying for them, fair dues, but you're not, are you? <laughs> So, should ignore it. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I wish I could turn it up a little bit more, you know, you're missing the sounds, but we've got another one for you from the 60s. This is a remaster, I think. Right. Yes. What a great tune this is, eh? Anyway, if you've just joined me, everybody, welcome to the Twilight Cafe. And talking about the Twilight Cafe, I, I had to do a little bit of research the other day about the, uh, the beautiful Susan Fassbender. And um, I'm afraid the conclusion is tragic and mysterious. Mysterious person. Yep. 
to think you can be a normal person that's left no trace, no clues, except a tragic end. How did that tragic end come about? What went wrong? We're here to answer these questions. Now I'm joining this, but we might put a bit of Neil Starker on for a minute. And uh, if anybody out there doesn't know who Neil Sadaka is, he used to be a <coughs> funny looking fellow with a silly hairdo, obviously Jewish, um, talks a bit like a girl, sings a bit like a girl, um, looks like he should run a patisserie really, you know, sort of chubby bloke, chubby bloke, good in cake shops. <coughs> Um, yes, good morning, uh, Chris Wright. Chris, Chris Wright. Yeah, so we've been abandoned by Richie Dolin. Dolin, Dolin's honestly, he's you know, it's like my mum. I, I, I went, I can't tell you the full story, but I had to go somewhere and I needed to be back. But I said to my mum, You've got to tell the people that I'm not able to come because I'm here at such a place. Well, anyway, when she did get to see the people, she fell apart, told them all the truth, where I was, and I thought, oh, my God. You know what I mean? This, this is not someone you need on your team. I, I need a guy, Fox, you know, a man who's screaming. Tell us the name of the conspirators. Never, never gouge his eyes out. Now do you want to talk? Never, Pah! you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, 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 it's terrible, terrible. But anyway, uh, let's find some, some wonderful music to play for you people. Because this is a quiet day. You know, it's like an old age pensioner. We're playing bowls. Uh, we don't want noisy black people walking along the street. You know, we, we're all about, you know, a bit of quiet England today. You know, nice, nice quiet England. Shh, shh, be quiet. Okay, uh, so what can we have to? Yes, here we are. We can, we can keep that mood going. <laughs> yes, we, we've we've all been a victim of that uh, that hound. I, I suppose I could call myself lucky that I've never. Uh, I've never encouraged such people on my stream. But they do gravitate towards Richie's stream and, and music ma'ams. So I don't know what she's moaning about. She, she described... She described his three guests the other day. That's uh, Brother Brian, me, and uh, Pre-Code Mick. <laughs> Um, not in any particular order, but a homophobe, a homophobe and a racist, and a drunkard. <laughs> and I'm, I'm assuming that uh, Brother Brian's a drunkard. Because if you were calling me the drunkard, you left out the homophobe and the racist. <laughs> or and the misogynist. <laughs> And warmonger, yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I like these old songs, you know. I sit down and you now I find myself getting slower now, you know. Not into all this white shark music. I like, uh, you know, just give me something I can have a tea dance to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but he, there he is. There he is. The first sign of come out with your hands up is coming out with his hands up, isn't he? I, I don't I just don't know. Don't know. It's like it's like we could have we could have Richie Dolan as our sergeant and we could have Bobby Whitlock as our lieutenant commander. Man. We wouldn't get very far, would we? Imagine us in Afghanistan, you know, fighting the Taliban. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Richie? Shoot your guns, shoot guns. 
where? Don't know. Just, just fire them. <laughs> can, can we call for backup yet? Yeah. No, no, no. We're not allowed to call for backup. Not till we're not dying. We'll call call up backup now. I want to get back home. I want to have some tea. <laughs> it, it, it was. It, well, it, it wasn't so much epic because I mean, it, it, there was. How can you have a proper conversation about race when you've got all these snowflakes? You know, they're, oh, no, you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't say that. Well, they're saying it about you, brother Brian. That's all I can say. They're saying it about you. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's get some more. Uh... Oh, yeah, we like this one. Do do do. Well, have I only got four visitors, or is it just the wrong time of day? Maybe people just don't like good music these days. I say, pa. <laughs> oh, <Harvey> Price. <laughs> I miss that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's in a bit of a dangerous position now. I mean, where'd you, where'd you go uh, if you miss the mayo? Because... As we saw with the All Things Must Pass, it was, it was a busted flush. You know, they are, they're not fit for purpose. Not fit for purpose. And, uh, and of course, Peter Brad now is uh, suffering from the Dixon effect. And, and Matthew Streets just got off the bus, said no. Can't deal with it no more. Yeah, rightly so. When a man loves a woman, he can't go around buying bullshit all day. <laughs> oh, look, I've just seen this rubber sole coat. How much is it? 900 quid. Uh, I was thinking of buying it for myself. Oh, all right, and uh, yeah, I was, I was going to make a donation to the church today, but no, no, you, you spend that money on something more interesting. <laughs> uh, you're, all, you're all about Hershey bars, Americans, that's the trouble. Hershey bars and Pop-Tarts. <laughs> I, I was on with him at the same time, yeah, yeah. Oh... Was, I was on with Mayo at the same time. I couldn't remember the other day because I was just sort of drifting, you know, and I thought, oh, he's on. Let's see what he's got to say. See if there's any words of wisdom to be had. Sadly, I, I, I left unsatisfied with the, uh, the conversation. He refused it, refused it to talk about let it be, you anything other than glowing terms trouble is I, I can't deal with it because all I'm thinking of when I'm thinking let it be is, is there's just a bunch of blokes who look really shit you know they're all drugged up to the eyeballs none of them really know what they're doing they certainly can't play music and we're supposed to sit there for 30 fucking hours to watch it no thank you no it's a beautiful egg that's your job. You do that. And Caitlin, I'm getting sponsored to say Caitlin. Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin. Caitlin, you have got a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp. In fact, you've got a good face for radio. When I saw Mr. Mayo's channel the other day, I had to switch off. I, thought, I can't look at her face. It's like, it's like looking at the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, let's put some more music on. Let's oh, we, should we have Twilight Cafe and then we'll talk about uh, maybe we'll talk about Susan Fassbender. Uh, right. yeah. Yeah. Looking for some uh, some white, great white. Sorry, great white. Is it great white? <laughs> uh, um, if I can remember. It's just, yeah, well, you know what they're trying to do? They're just trying to fuck everybody off with a shitty design, probably designed by Julian Lennon. 
<laughs> I mean, this nepotism, it's just, it's getting out of control, isn't it? I don't, you know, I'm not saying that Paul McCartney's um, musical uh, backlog should be should be protected uh, under armed guard and scientists who can release it properly. But, you know, the Beatles really shouldn't be in the hands of Giles Martin. And it, it should have been out of the hands of George Martin after 1970, in my opinion. But there you go. Uh, we can't correct everything with the wrong turns that history makes, can we? But what we can do is play Twilight Cafe if we can bloody well find it. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Oh, here she is. Here's Susan and and Kay Russell. They never get. They'd have got past the third single. But I mean, this is what happens when normal people get to do music. It's a bit rough. It's a bit rough around the edges. And also, also they look like they're just coming from fucking Primark. All the clothes they were wearing. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. But bad on a budget. Can't fault her. And she does look a bit like, um, if, you, if you're wondering what she, she looks like, she looks a bit like Nana Muscuri, but with an 80s edge. <laughs> round. Well, the trouble is, Susan Fassbender was caught in a vortex between 1979 and 1980. Now, there was a change. There was a change between those years. She's, she's got one foot in 1980, but two feet in 1979 by the looks of it. I'm just wondering if that bloke, the wax, ever goes to sleep. Honestly, he's, he's, he's always there, isn't he? And do you know what? He's never said one profound thing in his life, never. Apart from putting a bloody curse on me. Yeah, well, I've been on your washing line, mate. I've got your shirt and I've cut a little corner off. And then I'm going to put him on a wax voodoo doll like Christopher Lee in the house that drip blood and then you're going to get a big poke in your back. Yeah, you're going to get poked and I don't mean where you want to be poked, young man. <laughs> all right, that was good. Let's all, we, here we go, here we go. Here we go. An educator, an educator. Is that what they call them, these, whatever they call educators uh, uh but i've heard a lot about these lifestyle coaches these are also people that haven't got a job <laughs> lifestyle coach yeah i suppose you know all you need is a couple of grand and then you can set yourself up with a website and if you can find some stupid people you, you you're quids in aren't you of course i couldn't do that because i'm uh i guess i'm just too caring towards my fellow man 
you know, you don't like it. I'll tell you what, when you get home and you think, I've fucking been ripped off, first thing you want to do is go out and kill that person. And the second thing is it, it, it affects your um, acceptance of, of society. You know, you, you think, oh, well, if that person could rip me off, then, my God, anybody could do it. <laughs> All right. I wonder if Brico mix up and about. I wish I wish I could cause as much aggro as that man. I have much to learn from this learned sage. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. We don't want all that stuff. If you're lucky, I might play a bit of uh, the fees for you. <laughs> I'll get a lot of American people asking me, were you there when the fizz were around? I'll say, yeah, yeah, I lived the fizz. <laughs> I also live Barbie doll. We need something better than this, don't we? Uh, and I'm looking. Um, whilst I'm in the 60s, I am searching desperate for some, uh, um, well, anything, anything really. I've got a lot of easy beats, but I'm not big on them. Oh, I've got a good one. I've got a good one. Oh, you can help yourself. So try not to miss her. Oh, I got I got some good ones yesterday. Hang on, where's Homburg? Homburg. Here we are. You like this Procol Harum? Procol Harum, Homburg. You, you can see it's a little bit white, a shade of pale, can't you? But gets away with it. Not like Lady Willpower. <laughs> yeah, so I just can't get that um, Melinda holding the uh, Great White album. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it has a nice album cover. I, I've, not, I've not seen that before. And the Okay, well, because uh, it's only a short uh, visit today, I'm going to finish off with this wonderful song by, by Units 4 Plus 2, and, and here's Musical Facts. This was a number one in 1965 in Great Britain. Great Britain. 
Concrete and the clay beneath my feet begins to crumble. Okay, so I'm off to get some coffee, and you won't see me again unless I've had a few drinks. I've got a plan in my head. All right, plan in my head. So, pip 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 pip. 